In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Canon PIXMA MJ2525 or 2522 to your Mac computer. I'll also show you how to print and also how to use the scanner with your Mac so you can save all the files and send them by email or do whatever you want to do. So the first thing we need to do is to download the driver that will allow the computer to actually connect to your printer. This CD comes in the box with the printer, but it's only made for Windows. And anyway, many Macs right now don't have any CD player to be able to read it. So you need to go on the Canon website, which is usa.canon.com. So this is the official Canon website and you need to go in support over here. Once you're here, you're going to need to type the name of your printer, which in our case is Canon MJ2525. If it's 2522, you need to select this one. So I'll go here and select mine. From here, I will select software and drivers. Click on it. Make sure that Mac is selected under operating system and make sure that you select the right version here. So click and you need to select which kind of uh, OS you're running on your Mac. In my case is the last one, it's Ventura. Then go down this page and the first thing over here will be the driver that you need to download. Click on download. Then click allow. Now it's downloaded, go in your downloads and open the file. Okay, I have double click on the downloaded file. This will show up. Just need to double click on this. Click continue. Click continue again. Click agree. Click install. Use your password of your Mac, or in my case, I have the touch ID installed, so just do it. And the installation is successful. Now you can click the close button. You can move to trust this installer. We don't need it anymore. Now it's time for me to show you how to scan and print. This printer does not have Wi-Fi capabilities, so you'll need to connect using the cable that came inside of the box. This one. The only problem is that it's a USB type A cable. Okay, this is where it goes in the printer this end, but this is USB type A and many new Mac don't have any USB type A ports like my MacBook Air M2 or even the M1 only has USB type C ports. So you'll need an adapter to make this work. This is the adapter that Apple sells. Uh, I have always uh, liked to use it because it's always re reliable. I never had any issues with it. I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one because you just have to plug the cable inside of this adapter and this end goes into your Mac. Then you need to connect the other end of the cable in the back of your printer. Over here on the right side, like this. Make sure you put it properly because I know many people don't do it and then nothing works. So push it until it clicks. And when I did this, I got this message on my screen, allow accessory to connect. You need to press on allow. You're going to open the scan lid. You're going to take the document you want to scan. Let's say it's this page. You're going to put it facing down here on this corner. You see there's a small arrow. You need to push the corner of your document so it meets this arrow. Okay. And if your document is large and a bit bouncy like mine, you need to close the lid and also put a bit of pressure on the lid. 
if it's just a normal sheet of paper that you put there you don't need to press on the lid but if if the lid doesn't close completely by itself you'll need to put a bit of pressure in my case i'll just put my computer over the scan lid to keep it closed in your mac you're going to go in the system settings this is how it looks in ventura but maybe your os looks a bit different than this you just need to find printers and scanners maybe yours has again icons find the printers and scanners icon tap on it and you should see your canon in the list added tap on it over here you should see a scan button click on it and you should be able to scan preview and change all the settings if you're using mac os ventura like i do be aware and i've made a long research about it canon not yet support the scan function of this printer with the mac they will probably do it in the future with updates but for now you won't see any scan button so don't upgrade to macOS Ventura unless you're uh, you don't mind not being not being able to scan. So I won't be able to show you today how to scan it, but just by pressing this button, you will see by yourself. It's very easy. You just have to press scan and it will be done. Now let me show you how to print because this is possible even if you're running Ventura. Okay, so to print, open the file you want to print. In my case. I just made a PDF here just to show you as an example, but you can open a picture or any photo. You can use the shortcut by pressing command and pressing P once at the same time. And you'll have this window opening up. Make sure that Canon MJ2500 series is selected up here. Make sure that these are the press presets that you want to use. The paper size, this is very important. This is just US letter, so I'll leave it there. Portrait landscape, just make any modification according to your preference. And before pressing the print button, make sure you have, pr uh, make sure you have put some paper in the paper tray there. And, and down here, make sure to extend this tray as well. Now you can press the print button. And it should just take a few uh, seconds. Well, that was quick because there was absolutely not much to print. You get the idea. Leave a like, a comment down below, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in the next one.